My name is David Yates. I usually go by Bart though. I didn't know there was so much to learn about dinosaurs before I started working here. I like seeing how this actually works. It's a lot different than like you see in the movies like Jurassic Park because it's a lot of actually hammering and chiseling instead of just brushing away sand. First of all, you never find an articulated animal. If you do, you're really lucky. Oh, articulated is when you find a complete animal with all the bones are together as it was when it was living. Here's how it actually works. It's very challenging physically because you have to hammer through a lot of rock. Um, it's a lot of chiseling, you're carrying heavy stuff. It's hard physical labor. In Moab, it's supposed to be get to 107 or 108 or something like that. And so up here will probably be 104. It's, it's pretty hot. It's just really, really hot out here. The tough things about going on a dinosaur dig, I guess, is putting up with the sun and the wind. But if you're at a Hergerson quarry, Jeff takes care of us. He makes sure that we we have shade. When our fan is working, we get a fan in here to keep the help keep the bugs away. It doesn't keep all the bugs away. But last week we were out here right before I was about to go to bed. I was I just was looking in my back for some stuff and I found a little scorpion there and I kind of had a little freak out. Sensor was already asleep and I woke him up like Spencer, scorpion, scorpion. And so we, I got him to come out and I smashed him with a, what was it, what did I smash him with? Your book. With a book, with my book, and it was, so it's scorpion goats all over my book, the back of my book later. And I'm actually borrowing that book from a friend, so I hope he doesn't mind. But. <laughs> Your interest has got to be there enough to where you could put up with the dust and the heat and the hard work because it's all digging. After <laughs> getting a lot of hard work done, it's a very satisfying feeling. Really, I'm definitely tired at the end of the day. Yeah, that's that's. I feel pretty tired, and but I, but usually it's I feel pretty accomplished. You know, like I actually did something for the scientific community. Don't forget to visit us at the BYU Museum of Paleontology. Admission is free and open to the public. We can be found directly across the street from Lavelle Edwards Football Stadium, 1683 North Canyon Road in Provo, Utah. It's, it's very challenging physically. You're hammering through a lot of bone. It's a lot of chiseling. Not hammering through bone. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start that question over. That's okay. No, hey, that was, that was great. Are you okay if I include that segment after? <laughs> True. Because that's Come that's on. pretty funny. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs>